Again, these lectures cover the project initiation and system requests. Our main objective is to explain how organizations identify IS projects. We're also going to explain the importance of linking the information system to business needs. Project initiation, how projects get started. Where do projects come from? Here we see a project is identified when someone in the organization identify a business need to build a system. Example of a business need includes supporting a new marketing campaign, reaching out to a new type of customer or improving interaction with customers or suppliers, the vendors. Now, business needs can also surface when the organization identify unique and also competitive ways of using IT. And many organizations keep an eye on emerging technology, which is a technology that is still being developed and not yet available for project identification and initiation. Now, fulfill a business need. One, enable a business initiative or strategy. Also support a mega acquisitions face a point of pain, utilize a new technology, and also add growth of a business process management. So next, what is a business process management? Here we say it's a methodology used by organizations to continuously improve end-to-end -end business process. So today, new information system projects grow out of business process management initiative. And as we said, business process management can be applied to internal organization process and to process spanning multiple business partners. The benefit include to enhance process agility, also the process alignment with industry best practice, and also increase process efficiency. Now, there are four step continuous cycle with business process management. First, we define and also map the steps in a business process. Then we create ways to improve on steps in the process that have value. Then we find ways to eliminate or consolidate steps in the process that don't have value. Then we create or adjust the electronic workflows to match, again, the improved process maps. Now, we also have what we call the business process automation. A business process automation is to create or adjust electronic workflows to match the improved process maps. Then business process improvement is to study the business process create new or redesign the processes to improve the process workflow and or utilize the new technology, enable new process structures. Then we have the business process reengineering, which will be the total overhaul of work process. Again, we are going to cover this concept in our future lectures. Now, do we have a project yet? Here we say once the project sponsor Identify a project that means an important business need and he or she can identify the business requirements and also the business value of the system. Now, it is time to formally initiate the project. In most organizations, project initiation begins by preparing the system request. Again, a system request is a document that describes the business reasons for building a system and also the value that the system is expected to provide. So again, strong business needs leads to a person or a group stepping up as a project sponsor. Driving force beyond project, also specified overall business requirement, determine business value and formally request a project through the system request. 
Again, we'll go more details about the concept of requirements, both functional and non-functional requirements in our future lectures. So again, that will be the conclusion of our lectures and see you in the next lectures.